Hi, I'm John Townsend, founder of the Institute of Coffee, and I'm here working with San Remo to help you understand more about the Opera coffee machine and pressure profiling. I've been lucky enough to be able to make many shots on this machine, and today I'm going to show you how, by changing your bar of pressure, we can influence the flavour in your cup. For the first six shots that we're going to be making, using two different coffees, so one coffee three shots and the other coffee another three shots. We're going to be including our control delivery system and the first part of that is our pre-infusion. So on these shots we're going to have pre-infusion and our main infusion after that. So while I'm making these I'm going to then talk to you afterwards about the flavour differences. Now what's incredible about using the control delivery system is not only do we have the Opera, but we also have the X1 next to me as well. So we're gonna be pairing our recipes that we have our two different coffees in these hoppers, and we're gonna be using that with the six shots that we'll be using for the pre-infusion. And then once we have understand the flavor difference of that, we're then gonna move on to talking about post-infusion which is a patented uh, infusion not used by any other company other than San Remo, so very exciting. So you might be thinking, how can I even make six profiles using this machine? Well, it's pretty simple. We have a lever on the top, which you can push back and pull forward, and then we have these three buttons followed down here, one, two, and three, allowing us to have six different recipes. Now you can see on the panel here that we have three sections of it. One is our pre-infusion, one is our main infusion, and the third is our post-infusion. So while I make the shots, you're gonna be able to witness this panel moving along with our extraction. So now we've had time making our first pre-infusion using that control delivery system. I'm now gonna use the same coffee and use the six recipes to change it to using the post-infusion as well as the pre-infusion. So we're going to be incorporating all of it together and seeing those subtle differences that we can make by adjusting that pressure. Now on here when we look at the top button you can see that when this one's selected we'll be using nine bars of pressure. When we move to the middle button here that's highlighted we'll be using eight bars and you guessed it this one seven bars. So in front of me right now, I've got three shots that I've just made up, uh, including our nine, eight, and seven bar shots. So I've just had a lot of espresso and I've delved into understanding a bit more about the flavor of each of these. So with our nine bar, that's our real like sort of commercial standard setting that you'd get on most espresso machines. And it's very good, actually. It has quite a, a nice profile. Uh, there is some fruitiness to it but I knew that I could definitely stretch it out and get a little bit more of that acidity in the cup. So when I dropped down to eight bars, that acidity actually became a little bit more pronounced and allowed actually more sweetness in. So on reflection of actually trying these three, the eight bar was my favorite. And what I found with the seven bar was it might have been down to actually the pressure profiling on it, but it just didn't give me as much out of the coffee that I was expecting or what I was used to with this coffee. Um, it is a thermic natural, so it's heavily fermented and has a lot of funkiness, but that's the, the fun thing with coffee.